Hello YouTubers, how are you guys? Samsung fans, I got a great news for you. Samsung has barely released a couple of days ago in Europe the S23 Ultra, the One UI 6.1 with artificial intelligence. Well, I will do this update and it's a little bit risky this update, especially that One UI 6.1 has the aptX codec. But sincerely, I don't think so. It's something there in the phone, Aura codec, Aura Bluetooth, something like this, which uh, you can stream to a couple of uh, devices. But I don't think Samsung put in this uh, update that was an important update for these phones. And my biggest concern is that the old application will not work anymore into this update. And you will see that I'm right, uh, will not work a couple of them. Not all. I'm gonna tell you what were my applications that don't work uh, anymore in this update and I will try to uh, replace with a uh, working application. A disturbing thing is, and I don't really know why Samsung doesn't put that demo aptX adaptive codec into their devices. And guys, if in this one UI 6.1, I'm going to show you the advantages. I'm going to show you a little bit of, of uh, uh, how uh, will be on S23 Ultra, but you will see there are a lot of reviews already. We will discuss something else here and I will tell you why you subscribe to this channel. It's because we, we bring you the latest news and the greatest news uh, for you. The problem is like this, into the Android 15, that it's uh, developing Google now and it's barely uh, taking by Samsung. When it will be this, uh, in 2024, will be delivered to S23 and S24 models will be the mind blowing because you can uh, connect your Android phone to direct it to the satellite and make calls. This is the awesome thing. And this Android will ban the aggressive publicity. This is a main thing, will be more secure, more uh, friendly with you. If Samsung will put the aptX adaptive, like Xiaomi or Xiaomi, in their medium phones, listen to this, Xiaomi or Xiaomi, put into their medium phones aptX adaptive. Because I want to listen with my Bauer and Wilkins PI7 and there are a lot of manufacturers that demand and bring, brought uh, on the market uh, high resolution audio pro products, premium products. And Samsung must bring also into their flagship, we ask into their flagship Ultra models, the S23, 24 Ultra models to have the aptX um, adaptive because the uh, hardware, the Qualcomm mainboard and processor, we have them inside. So it's a perfect compatibility. Do you know the Qualcomm makes the aptX codex? So it's a small amount of money that Samsung can pay Qualcomm to implement this codex. Or why not Samsung to charge us $10, $20, we, I will pay for the Qualcomm adaptive to have the high res sound direct me, directly from my phone. Will be the greatest thing, why not? Hope, I hope the Android uh, uh, 14 on the One UI 6.1 will be to, will hold the battery just as much as Android 13 because I can uh, talk with my phone two days and watch videos in medium use. So I will tell you what are the pros and what removes Samsung from Android 13 into the Android 14. And uh, we will see the advantages and disadvantages. So let's see guys. So guys, here it is, the new 6.1 UI. So, as I suspected, we have problems with uh, all the applications. One application is DJI Go, that uh, it was an old one and I cannot use it anymore. It does, the Android 14 doesn't let me anymore to install it. I had to install the last application. The other application that uh, works, but it tells you that the Android uh, number has changed, uh, the QBACR. You know the QBACR. Now guys, the most important application is the Bauer & Wilkins and this was the reason I made this. And if you see guys, it's aptX. 
it was just aptx on the s23 ultra and now let me show you all the codecs here um it's fast this android is fast not a doubt but uh, eh, the codec is not qualcomm aptx audio but it's not a hd audio because the pro the program of bauer and wilkins will say if it's a, uh, aptx adaptive so you saw the aptx simple and once again we have the hd audio here that is not a hd audio it's a trick by samsung i don't know why samsung does this is not hd audio the qualcomm aptx audio is not a hd audio so god damn it i don't know why it is this so damn important or so damn uh, frustrating that the samsung does not bring the aptx uh codec into their new and the, their last updates looking at this new android guys I gotta tell you that is very interesting. So here's something interesting. I search for we have uh, some photo paper, special photo paper, and they found me some. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the exactly, but it has on a box the model. I'm looking for a picture which doesn't have the model. So for example, if I have a car, I want to know what kind of car is this. Yeah, okay. Nice wheels. Not nicer than mine. Let's see this chair, for example, in this picture. I want to see the chair. It found me chairs yeah found me not bad it's not bad this artificial intelligence by searching i think this is the function who we are interested in also guys at the phone you will see in settings a dot here at live translate let's see um we have some languages but not all our languages for example i speak romanian but i don't have romanian and the other person speaks let's say english but um, you realize you you don't have many languages yet but it's very interesting this function because it can translate you in uh, real time what that person or the other end uh, can tell you and you can understand each other very good this is a great function uh to work with for example you make a reservation for your holiday and uh, you can speak with the other person translating in your language and the other person and this is a, a good thing will understand you it will translate to, to both of you to the other end and to you okay we have google translate or the translate i don't know if it's if it's the application in google play i had it in phone maybe this one it's uh, for translation let's see i will say in romanian uh, let's see a text vă rog să mi spuneți un restaurant bun pentru a mânca niște paste please tell me a good restaurant to eat some pasta okay uh, I think it's good. Let's see. Vă rog direcționați-mă la cel mai apropiat aeroport. Please direct me to the nearest airport. Yes, I believe it's accurate. And it's okay. The translation are okay. This free um free translating uh, AI uh, artificial intelligent platforms. What I saw here in camera settings you can scan documents and text this was into the previous uh, already the auto frames per second this is the new record brighter videos in low light conditions but uh, be careful i encounter problems importing to uh, if you are filming with your phone this will make you problems not all the um, editing programs knows about this it will make you 46 frames per second 42 48 and um, 
on this frame rate you have problems with uh, your um, editing softwares now here guys i encountered this problem that i don't have anymore in the hvac the hdr plus and i thought what's the problem well you have to click on the hvac and prioritize video quality and now you will have hdr 10 plus videos and also the option high bit bitrate videos into the portrait video now we have a face we can make the skin smoother into the so into the portrait video now we can smooth the face and i believe it wasn't a possibility to do this into the android 13 before only into the normal video mode at the fhd full hd in the uhd i know it isn't possible there also now in both modes you can uh, do this smoothing on the face which i am a fan <laughs> Yeah, you know, guys, I have this redness on my face. All my uh, blood tests are okay. I don't know, it's maybe it's from the stress on my face. And uh, believe me, it's very hard and unpleasant um, to use professional makeup on when we film. When we film this uh, videos, this weekly show and uh, use programs to mask myself of this, but uh, I don't have a, a problem or I didn't found it uh, yet. So guys, let's continue. On this new screen recorder, uh, I think it's a bug if you are hiding it to the right side. Well, I cannot, if I'm touching it, it will not show, but if I'm sliding it to uh, from right to left, it will show. In the previous Android, uh, you could do this. And uh, you, if you touch it, it will show. Now guys, for all of you who make photos with the phone's camera, and you know the phone's camera distorts your uh, photos and distorts your lens, you have a longer face. And if you see here, my face is very long and this distorts. At the corners, at the edges of the lens will distort your subject. So, um, for other Android devices, is the option on Samsung devices, click the three dots and select remaster. Now, uh, for the One UI 6.1 Android 14 in the S23 Ultra devices and S24, you don't have anymore the... Uh, remaster option and those other options with the blurring the background and whatever now to make this possible just slide up and it will appear you just on top <laughs> i was searching so much uh, for these uh, options that i didn't found them but i don't know why samsung complicates uh, these things just slide up and select remaster and remaster your uh, photos i what i noticed is that the remastering doesn't work sometimes i revert the picture i already had it remastered with this that android 13 that now uh, sincerely i uh, think that was good not to make this update because this update also doesn't make you the remastering um, doesn't also doesn't have in videos if i want to a video to make uh, skin softness or smoothness here if you are going into the video editor before you had uh, somewhere here uh, on the last page somewhere the face moved up in the video right so if i film uh, a video of me and i want to uh, smooth up my face i don't have it anymore and this is a very sad thing i went in all these steps and i don't have anywhere the skin uh, maybe they forgot to put it in this new six video editor uh, the edition uh, 6.1 so returning to this photo guys i think i film when i had the face uh, before i uh, captured the screen and i will put and i will show you guys that i uh, it, uh, the android 14 worked great the remastering of the picture made it uh, great
If I want the face effects in the photo, you have the face effects. In the video, you don't have, and this is a bit uh, uh, a big minus, a big minus for which uh, I love the Android uh, 14, but I hope into their next update, oh God, I hope it will bring the first time the Epitex Adaptive and um, fix this uh, bugs into their uh, video editor and do the photo editor. I, I think that the camera is so important, is very important for me at the phone. They must uh, make the, that remastering of the uh, taking care of that distortions and add the skin effect and this will be a mind blowing. Uh, Samsung, please work this and make this, make the Android 15 the best update you ever made in your life for the S23 Ultra. Work it, please. So guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope uh, we'll create another community and we'll ask Samsung in their new Android uh, 15, the One UI 7.0 to be a big boom, to uh, make your our phones uh, unbelievable with this new uh, firmware update and bring Epitex Adaptive beside that awesome uh, new features. So thank you for watching guys, uh, have a great day, we are at Technology Reviews, you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives. See you, bye!